Piers Morgan is back and uncensored year after Meghan Markle dis comments. Piers Morgan has no plans to leave his admirers disappointed. The former Good Morning Britain host, who was cancelled after mocking Meghan Markle's Oprah Winfrey tell-all on national television, says his new show will fight against the cancel culture. Marking one year to the incident, he wrote, A year ago today, I went for a little stroll, and in the words of Edith Piaf, J-E-N-E -E regret rain. Hashtag long walk to freedom of speech. In a short clip, he then addressed the dynamics of his new show. A year ago today, I was forced to leave a job that I loved at the peak of its success for having the audacity to express an honestly held opinion. Well this shouldn't happen in any democracy supposedly built on the principles of free speech and freedom of expression, he said. So I'm delighted to now be returning to live television with a new primetime show whose main purpose will be to cancel cancel culture which has infected societies around the world, he added. Continued Morgan, I want it to be a platform for lively, vigorous debate, the newsmaking interviews, and that increasingly taboo three-letter word, fun. I also want it to annoy all the right people. I'm Piers Morgan, uncensored. In his tweet releasing the trailer, Piers wrote, asterisk announcement asterisk trigger warning, I'm back. And I'm uncensored. Prince Charles just can't bear Ukraine war, in tears for parents losing children. Prince Charles is on the verge of crying for Ukrainians. The future king, who visited St. Luke's Church on Wednesday, talked to people who were forced to leave the war-torn region. Supported by Holy Trinity Brompton Church, HTB, these people are now in search of safety. Amongst many that he met, the father of two interacted with a fellow fatigue, Ukrainian Andrei Kopilash. Mr. Kopilash shared that he has fled to UK in order to save himself from Vladimir Putin as he advances invasion of Ukraine. Andrei later added that he is worried for his daughter Veronica, who I left behind in their native country. Mr. Kopilash told the heir to the throne, we have had wonderful support from the community here. Speaking after the Prince of Wales visit, the Ukrainian shared, he was very open and there were tears in his eyes. I was really impressed by him. It was very nice to meet Prince Charles. He was really open and was really informed about the situation. I just can't bear it. Such a total tragedy, Charles told another mother during his visit. Kate Middleton will be cordial to Meghan Markle, it is part of her job. Kate Middleton will welcome Meghan Markle with open arms in UK, even after her dissing Oprah Winfrey interview. The Duchess of Sussex, joined by husband, Prince Harry addressed a couple of royal rumors a year ago as they spoke to Winfrey. Meghan also opened up about the conjecture that she made Kate Middleton cry. Speaking to Oprah, the Duchess spilled that in fact, that incident happened the other way round, recounting that Kate made her cry. On the first anniversary of the sit-in, royal expert Ingrid Seward tells Mirror, C.O., K. that Kate will never forget how Meghan talked about her on television. She told the Mirror, the Duchess of Cambridge will be cordial to Meghan. She will be sure to be photographed kissing or hugging her. She has to, that is part of her job. Her private feelings have to remain just that. Kate will not forget however how Meghan treated her. But she knows there is no point in prolonging a feud that has the opportunity of being repaired. The Platinum Jubilee is just that chance.